it's another day with May, and today we are making sweet potato hash browns. All right, first let's check out our ingredients. So you need, of course, sweet potato. Make sure it's grated, and that's about a medium sweet potato. It makes about four. About a, I guess, a teaspoon of salt, but I mean, put as much as you want on. Your avocado oil. You can also use coconut oil. A dash of pepper. One egg white. And your cheesecloth or a kitchen towel, either one, but make sure it's not white because the sweet potato will dye it. And unless you want a orange towel, then don't use white. All right, let's get cooking. All right, first step, add some cold tap water to your bowl of shredded sweet potato. This helps remove the starch and make it a lot more crispier when you fry it. As you can see, there's a lot of cloudiness at the top here. That's exactly what you want it to look like. And you're going to repeat this process twice. All right, so first up, you're gonna take your cheesecloth and a little bit of sweet potato, add it in, or I guess your towel, whatever you use, and you're just going to squeeze out the wet the, the wet, I meant the water. <laughs> Ass be good. <laughs> Just squeeze it all out until it's a kind of a chalky kind of texture. And then you're just going to take it out and place it into your bowl. Like that. All right, so now that you have your dried sweet potato, you're going to add in your egg, followed by your salt, a little sprinkle of that. You can always add more later when they're done. And then some pepper, just a bit of dash, as much as you want to taste. You can also add in an onion if you want. Now mix it all together with your hands. Get nice and dirty. Okay, so once your oil is heated, you're going to shape your sweet potato into a little ball, place it onto your pan, and just kind of squish it down with your spatula. Then let it cook for about, maybe, I guess five minutes until the edges get kind of golden brown, and then you're good to go, and then flip it. <laughs> All right, so now that I flipped it, I'm gonna let it sit for a few more seconds just to cook and crisp up on the bottom. And then I'm going to transfer it to a paper towel with a plate under it, just so it soaks up that oil and maybe sprinkle a little bit of extra salt on it. All right, they're done, so let's give them a try. They are super crispy on the outside, but they're still soft on the inside, just like a normal hash brown. They are perfect. You are having a hash brown. It's so much healthier made with the sweet potato, but you're not compromising any of the taste or the consistency that you would normally get from a normal hash brown. This is so delicious. All right, I hope you enjoy this recipe, and until next time, see you later.